so good morning everyone so today uh, we will uh, solve some numerical based on uh, conductors and dielectric materials and the boundary conditions uh, between uh, two dielectric material perfect two dielectric material okay so first numerical is so we have to find the magnitude of e magnitude of e of a sample of silver having sigma e is equal to 6.17 into 10 to the power 7 okay and mu e mobility is equal to 0 0.0056 meters square per volts. Okay. 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 So what you have to do? You have to find the value of vector E, magnitude of vector E of silver, sample of silver having sigma is equal to this much and mu is equal to this much. And first drift velocity. Drift velocity is 1 mm per second. Second, the current density J is equal to 10 to the power 7 and therefore meter. C, a sample of Q having 3 mm side. And total current flowing, current I is equal to 80 Newton. Okay. So this is the case. You have to find the value of E when sigma is when sigma is six point. Six point seven, six point one seven, that is power seven, and mobility is equal to point zero zero five six. Okay, well, uh, you have to find the value of E when drift velocity is given, then J is given, and then uh, a Q is there. Okay, the three mm side. Okay, so this length is three mm. And 80 ampere is going through this Q. Okay. So so we know that uh, first part, A part, drift velocity V D is equal to minus mu E into vector E. Is E. Okay, so uh, drift velocity is equal to mobility and E. Okay, so drift velocity is given 1 is the tangent power minus E, 1 mm plus is equal to mu E is 0 0.0056 mu to E. So E is equal to 0 0.0056 by 1 into 10 to the power minus 3. Okay. Sorry. This one. 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 0 0 0.0056. Okay. So it is coming to point. One seven a six moles per meter. Okay. So V D is equal to minus mu into E. Drift velocity is given and mobility is given. So E will be equal to drift velocity upon mobility. Next, what is given? J is given. Okay. 
So the relationship between J and T, J is equal to sigma E, where sigma is conductivity of the silver, okay, or sample of the silver. So J is 10 to the power 7, and sigma is given as 6.17 U to T. So E will be equal to 10 to the power 7 to 6. So this will be equal to point one six two one more. Okay. Then third part, a tube is given of 3 mm side and current is given. Okay. So from here we can find the value of J. So we know that J is equal to its current density. So this will be I upon area. Okay. So area is equal to Q. So this will be A square. So this will be 3 to 10 to the power minus 3. 4 is equal to 9 to 10 to the power minus 6. Okay, so area of the cube, surface area of the cube is 0.3 mm square. So J will be equal to 80 into 9 into 10 to the power minus 6. Current is given 80 and divided by area. Area is 9 to the power minus 6. Okay. So again, you can find with this formula, j is equal to sigma e. So this will be j is 18 to the power minus 9, minus 6, sorry, j is equal to sigma e is 10 to the power So this is equal to 10 to the power Minus 1.67 into e. So e will be equal to 0 0.144. 144. Okay. So in this way, you can find the value of So, you have to find the value of E when drift velocity is given. Okay? So, you need to remember this formula. Drift velocity is equal to minus mobility into E. Mobility is given 6, uh, 6.17 10 to the power 7. Drift velocity is given. So, you can find the value of E. Second question, uh, you have to find the value of E when J is given. J is equal to sigma E. Okay? It is current density and it is conductivity. So J will be equal to uh, E will be J upon sigma. J is given, sigma is given. And then third part, uh, a cube is given with side 3 mm and current flowing through this cube is 80 ampere. So first we will find J. So J is equal to current upon area. So first we find area, then it is uh, current is divided by area, so it will be J and J is equal to sigma E, sigma is given, you can find E. Okay. So this is we will solve some more problem based on this J. Okay. Next question. So this question is asked in previous round, round 20. A conductor circular section is constructed of steel. Okay. 
So still, so sigma is given. 6 in 10 to the power 6. In the region, so the surplus cross section is there. Rho less than 1 millimeter. Circular cross section. Cross section is circular. OST. And uh, another conductor copper is given. So sigma is equal to 5.8 in 10 to the power 7. And so is lying between 1 to 1.5 and okay. Total current, total current is 100 and calculate first J copper, second J steel, then third the critical intensity of a and fourth is So, conductor of circular cross section, okay, like this. So, the cross section, so this is rho is equal to less than, so this is rho, and here rho is equal to 1 mm. And Here, rho is equal to 1.5. So, this conductor is made up of copper. And this is made up of steel. Okay. So, steel is from uh, rho is equal to 0 to 1 mm. And copper is from 1.1 mm to 1.5 mm. Okay. So you have to find the current density of the copper and steel and the field density for copper and steel. Okay. So and total current I is given. Okay. So we can find by using this formula J is equal to I upon area. Okay. So Total current is 100. So, for finding uh, current density in copper, so this will be I copper divided by area okay, of copper, and for steel, it will be J I steel divided by area of the steel conductor. Okay. So, uh, first uh, we will find the resistance of steel. Resistance of the steel will be equal to know that L upon sigma into area of the steel. That the length of the cylinder is L. Okay. So, uh, sigma is given. For steel, okay, so this is for steel. So L is L is unknown. So L sigma for steel is 6 in 10 to the power 6 into area of the steel, area of the cross section. So area of this cross section. So this is circular cross section. So 
So area is same, then is equal to pi r square by rho square. So pi into rho is 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 4 square. Okay, so this will be pi into 10 to the power minus 3 1 square. Okay. So this is equal to 0 0.053, 0 0.053, 0 0.05, okay, into n, then n. Okay. So length is not given, 0 0.05, 0 0.05. Similarly, we can find the resistance of the copper conductor. So this will be equal to L upon sigma copper into area of the copper conductor. So this area, so area of the copper will be equal to pi into rho square. Okay, so pi rho is between 1 mm and 1.5 mm. So this will be 1.5 minus 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 whole okay. square. So this is equal to 0.39. So substitute here A, so R will be L. But the purity of copper is 5.8 into the power 7 divided by this area 5 into 0.5 into the power of minus 3. So this is equal to. So, this is the connection, this is the case. There are two cylinders like this. Made up of P. Rho is equal to one point one mm, and outside this there is another cylinder like this here. Rho is equal to one point five mm, and this is made up of. So current flowing through this uh, total current flowing through this conductor is 100 okay. So we can find the current flowing in steel conductor by using current division of current in steel conductor where we put total conductor into Resistance of the copper divided by resistance of the copper plus resistance of the steam. Okay. So we are finding current which is flowing in this is IC and this is IC. Okay. So current flowing in steel conductor. So by current integral, current total current into resistance of the copper divided by resistance of the copper plus steam. So this is I is 100 into R copper is 4.3 into the power minus 3 L 4.93 into 10 to the power minus 3 L divided by 4.93 into the power minus 3 L 
plus steel tension series from 0 to 0 by the So uh, this is equal to seven point eight. Seven point eight four five two nine. Okay. This is the current flowing in the steel conductor. Now we know the total current. So I know current is equal to one way. It is equal to I copper plus I C. So this is equal to one way. Copper is equal to find the value of copper plus it is 7.8 over 5. So I copper will be equal to 92.3. Three five six So this is the value of current going in the steam and this is the value of the current going in the copper. Okay. So now we can easily find the value of J for steam. So J is T will be equal to I is T divided by area of steam. So I C is equal to seven point eight four five two nine divided by area pi into this area is one into ten to the power minus three. So this is equal to two point four three three. Into the power six and we are Similarly, for J copper, will be I copper divided by area of the copper conductor, the sectional area. Uh, copper current is 92.8567 divided by uh, area of this sector. So, this is pi into 1.5 mm minus 1 is 0.5 to 10 to the power minus 3. So this is equal to 23.5 by 8 to the power 6. Now, next we have to find the E C. So, J is T is equal to sigma C in T is T. T is T will be equal to J is T the form sigma C. So, J is T is 2.4 10 to the power 6 and sigma scale is 60 to 10 to the power 6. Okay. So this will be equal to 0 0.4 So similarly for copper. This is 22.51k. To power 6, 5.8 to the power 7. And this will be equal to 
is also equal to y two over x zero over y. Solve some numerical based on directrix. So electrical susceptibility is given 1.1.12 and electric flux density is given 1.6 nanometer per meter square. We have to find electric intensity, polarization, and dipole. Okay. So uh, as you see in the last class, so first uh, D is equal to epsilon norm, epsilon r. Into e. So, e will be equal to e upon epsilon naught epsilon r. And epsilon r is equal to 1 plus i e. So, from here you can find the value of. I uh, epsilon r electric permittivity. So 1 plus this is 0.12, so this is 1.2. Okay. First find the value of epsilon r by using the formula 1 plus I P. D is 1 into 10 to the power minus 9 
n equivalent of meter square divided by epsilon naught is 8.8 partially tend to the power of one meter square into epsilon naught is 1.2. You can say is equal to 161 is equal to epsilon naught, epsilon naught into t. So, t is equal to t upon epsilon naught r. So, epsilon r is not given, relative permittivity. So, relative permittivity is equal to 1 plus uh, chi e. Chi e is given. So, here uh, epsilon r is equal to 1.12. So, substitute. Here D is given, as long not is known, and as long R is one point, you can find the value for D. So D is equal to 161.348. Okay. So D is then equal to 161.348. Okay. Okay. So D is then you can find the value of polarization. This is second part. D is equal to um, as long not. I T into T. So this is the relationship between polarization and electric field intensity. Okay. So this will be equal to S naught naught I is 0.12 and E is 161.3. From solving this, you will get the value of P. 1.171.429 p coulomb per meter square. So the unit of p is similar to p and the coulomb per meter square. Okay. Then third, n is given, n is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 9. Okay. So we know that uh, polarization p capital P is equal to N into dipole moment. You have to find the dipole moment. So P will be equal to capital divided by N. So polarization is 1.171.429 divided by number of dipoles per meter cube is 2 into N to the power. This is equal to eight point five seven one five seven one and the power minus So our directing slab is given whose electrical susceptibility is 0.12 and electric density is 1.6 nanocoulomb per meter square. Okay. So we have to find the value of E, P and small p polarization given where uh, n is equal to 2 to the power 9 dipole per meter cube. Okay. So first, the relationship between d and d, uh, d and d for a dielectric, d is equal to epsilon naught epsilon r into d. So d is equal to d upon epsilon naught into r. Epsilon r is unknown here. So you can find the value of epsilon r by separating uh, it by 1 plus i. So this is equal to 1 plus i, i, i is given this much. So that's non R is equal to 1.1. Okay. And E is equal to this much. Okay. And then uh, we have to find the value of P. So P is proportional to E and is a proportionality constant. So epsilon non is known, epsilon uh, I is given, E is separated here. So you can find the value of capital P. So this is capital P. Then N is given uh, dipoles per meter cube. So P is equal to N in NP. So 
small p is equal to polarization divided by number of dipoles per meter cube. So we can calculate dipole okay. So in this way, we can find the value of E, P, and P when xi and D are. So any doubt in today's class? Thank you, class.